Okay, let's try this recording for a third time. What's up, you guys? Avery here. Wanted to bring you a video today talking about MCole40's video in which he discusses not buying Code of the Duelist. And I wanted to give my two cents because of the fact that I feel like he was looking at this set from a different perspective than what I was. He's looking at this set more from a make money down the line six months to a year from now, whereas I'm looking at instant gratification. But we'll get into all that as uh, we discuss this. Because as you can see clearly, the video has 407 likes, 113 dislikes. So people are somewhat split on this video that he made and I am in no way shape or form trying to attack Robbie Cole um, he's a great Yugi tuber I consider him a friend he let me post on his channel one time didn't go all that well because I was an idiot <laughs> but uh, I still wanted to at least talk about this because you know he is um, a reputable member in this community and I just kind of want to give my two cents on buying Code of the Duels because I have bought seven boxes shout out to Poke Order by the way because that's where I bought my boxes from and that's um, you know what what I chose to do so in his video he talks about how it's not a good set to invest in how everything is going to get reprinted eventually some of the examples he gave was of course with the cover card being firewall dragon that being like another number 39 utopia or stardust dragon getting a million reprints and like I just said you know I bought seven boxes so coming from someone who bought seven boxes I will agree with Robbie to an extent about investing in this set because you're not going to make money down the line. You got to make your money now. Like that's the only way that you're going to be able to do it. So after watching his video, I feel that he was going from the perspective of investing in the set for the long run, as I just mentioned. Now, what I mean by that is investing in the set now and expecting cards like Firewall Dragon, which is currently $35 for pre-sale and Trickstar Reincarnation which is a $20 card, to go up after they have been out for six months to a year or so. However, this is where I disagree with Robbie. I don't think this set is meant to be invested in this way. I don't think that this is the type of set where you can invest and make money down the line. This is the one of the, the better sets to make money by selling as fast as you can. So, like, for example, what I plan on doing is I plan on selling any of the new Light Sworn support to my friend who wants it. And, hell, I mean, I've already made $15 at the Code of the Duel sneak peek because my friend wanted the Spellbook of Knowledge I pulled. So, I'm not planning on holding many of the cards that I pull from this set. Once I'm done cracking open my boxes, I'm going to sell to my friends who need cards and also sell to my locals any cards that they'll buy. Because they buy at about 75% or so, so I'm, I'm making a decent amount of profit. So, I'm not... You know, planning on having a lot of um, cards on hold, I'm planning to make as much liquid as I possibly can, so to speak. So, keep in mind that this is seven boxes, you guys. This is just over half a case. So, I'm going to have a crap ton of multiples of, like, the supers and ultras and stuff like that. I probably won't have three firewall and three rescue ferret just because those are secrets, but that's the hope. So... After all this is said and done, I think Robbie made an excellent video. From his perspective, I will absolutely agree. This is not a set that you can invest in and make a crap ton of money off six months, eight months, or even a year, two years from now. You need to, if you plan on buying a case or whatever, you need to do that, but then just any cards that you don't want or don't need, just sell. Put them on eBay and sell. Just sell, 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 sell. You want to get rid of all that crap as much as you can. Especially because, like Robbie said, and there goes my paper, <laughs> like Robbie said, this set's going to get an unlimited printing. So that's going to make the prices drop. Then once reprints start coming out, that's going to make the prices drop. So you need to do everything in your power to make sure that you're not holding on to a lot of cards from this set. So other than that, you guys, that's everything that I had to say. Just want to make a short little discussion video. Um, so, and the whale had to drink some water. <laughs> Again, I respect Robbie as a player. I respect him as a YouTuber. I look up to him um, for many things, um, YouTube-wise, um, video-wise even, just kind of how to make my videos. Um, so, there's that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching as always. If you have any comments to leave, you know where to leave them. Leave them in the comments section. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I know some people hate Robbie. Some people love Robbie. But I just kind of wanted to throw my two cents out there. And Robbie, if you somehow see this video, uh, as I said in my comment, I'm not attacking you, bro. Uh, I just kind of wanted to give someone else's opinion that's looking at this set from a different perspective. So, again, not throwing any hate. Just kind of wanted to talk about this from a different perspective than Robbie did. So, thank you guys for watching as always. And subscribe if you have not already.